Hi everyone and welcome to another video. I wanted to do an updated flip as I haven't done one since September and it is almost November. So I am still in my yellow medium Campania from Giglio. I still have the 25mm rings in here but she does not close. If you can see that there I could... Oh, it doesn't close. Um, I really do love everything inside and for the moment I won't be removing anything. So, when you open her up, this is what you see. I still have sticky notes in here and just a business card in that little pocket. Here I have some, some stickers and a receipt and a invitation and then I have uh, my daughter's, she wrote her name and then I've just got a couple of pocket to-do lists that I was going to pop here if there's a few things that I needed to get done. I could just click them on the flyleaf. Then I have this little um, printable here, can't remember where that was from. And then I have a little sticker. This little October card is from Lauren Phelps Designs. And then this is an Ollie clip. Here I just have some receipts. Then I have a dashboard. Again, this is from Lauren Phelps Designs and it's actually her A6 cover. And it's cut in half so you get two. And then hole punched. And in here I just have a journaling card and a picture. This is our puppy here, so I still have him there. On the back I just have a bow and some sticky notes. This acetate is from my shop. Then I have some to-do sheets. So these are from Paper Test Designs and I just write things down there what I need to do. I have a to buy list here. Another sort of to buy, um, shop to buy, personal to buy, that kind of thing. More shop stuff here. And then I have the task manager from Paper Test Designs, just with a few little projects and some sticky notes on the back. And then I have some vellum, I think this is. Oh, so it's vellum and dust tape. And on here I just have a little fingerprint family, um, a little card, and then a clip from Etsy. On the back I have some other little cards and things and some sticky notes. Then I just have notes in this section. So I have all different sorts of notes here and then just a couple of Stalogy paper. Um, pieces punched in at the back. This is a Foxy Fix dashboard. Again, just some little cuteness in. Then I have this printable, which was a free, a freebie. I'll link it down below. And this is my list section. So I just have a wish list, a bucket list, an add to planner list, and things to research, book. TV, Sunday maybe, a list for my daughter's birthday and then a list for Christmas. This is a, another dashboard and I got this from a UK shop. I will pop the name below and that's where I got these cards from as well. That's just a picture of my son. Then on the back I've got more pictures and then a little die cut that my kiddo gave me. I have a picture of my kiddos here. And this is their section, so I just have a health log for each of them and then some notes for things for school. Then it moves into a section for our puppy. So I have um, just different lists and notes and it was training things and treat ideas. And then I have this weekly plan insert and I just use this to track his naps, his walks, when he goes to the toilet, 
if he has an accident you see it marked in pink um, and I just like to just keep track of that I need to print some more off this is foxy fix dashboard again with some cuteness in pictures then I have a overview so I'm getting into my calendar section now this is an overview from paper test designs and I just mark off the months then I have this overview sheet here and it's just big things that have happened each month then I have my goals at the back this is a party invitation clipped to my monthlies so this was September I am still using the file effects um, monthlies. I'll just give you a little quick flip. And then, like I said, that's September. And then this is this month. So I don't really use mini stickers apart from these ones here, which are when I post a YouTube video. And I just have a little bit of washi here. That is November and then December. Then I have some acetate, another picture. This vellum is from Lauren Phelps. Some stickers and a picture. And then I have punched in my Franklin um, Kobe Compact inserts. So I did just trim them down, down the middle and then punch them in. Can see that it goes into the boxes a little bit but i don't really mind so i have all of 2022 in there just some notes on the back then i move into my daily so i did actually take my weeklies out i'm not currently using weeklies i'm just going off my monthly and then i'm planning a lot more in my dailies and it's working really well so these are my dailies they do have some more personal information on, so I'm just going to do a super quick flip. Um, I do post these on my Instagram if you would like a closer look. Um, this is today's and then... This is shop stuff and then you can see how I plan for the upcoming days so those are all October's and then I will on Sunday I will be taking these out and putting in November again just some sticky notes here this is from journaling home I think it's called on Etsy and Instagram and it's just a November journaling kit, which the rest of the kit is a little bit further back. So I will show you that. Another dashboard just with some cuteness in. And because I took my weekly planner out, I did pop in a little home section. Just for meals and groceries really, as I did use to put that on my weekly pages. So here... Here's a meal planner from Crossbow Printables. This weekly tracker is from Peanuts Planner Co. And I just use those. And then have a few blank ones as well. More vellum and the other pocket that I got. This is just a little postcard that I really liked. And I'm into my health section, so I can't show too much of this, but I'll try and show you blank inserts. So this one is a weekly health journal from My Summer Touch, and I've been enjoying using that. Then I've just popped this in here. So this is a weekly mood log, and you can see it's got kind of good and bad things that happened on the day. Then I have my habit tracker which I'm doing okay at some things and not so okay at other things. Then my Hobonichi Weeks still. So this is just kind of symptom tracking really and writing down how I'm feeling, how I've slept 
each day, that kind of thing. Then I have my health log and doctor's visits. I then have a gluten-free tracker. I've then got a cycle tracker here and it goes into my more wellness stuff. So again, just a couple of freebies here. Another one from the journaling kit and I just have my gratitude journal. So this is SM Plans and I do this every day. I also have affirmations at the back here just to add to whenever I feel like it. And you can see it's getting pretty tight to turn the pages. This is the journaling, the rest of the journaling kit here. And it's just got some different prompts and things that I thought were nice. And I will actually write those things in my actual journal, but I thought having a reference in here would be good. Then I have my finance um, little section and it is a tiny, tiny section. So I have a no spend tracker here, which is from Perpetual Plans. It's a freebie. Then I have an online order tracker and an expenses tracker. Um, and that's the end of my finance section. I then have a page lifter. In the back here is just some notes here and then a couple of spare list sheets. These don't normally live in there, but I've just popped them in there for now. And then I have, I made this little booklet and it's just cut up Stalogy paper with some scrapbook paper at the front. And I'm using this as just a place to scribble notes down, a brain dump book, that kind of thing. And then I don't think my pockets have changed that much. I still have stickers in here. And then just a few little papers, a postcard and some more stickers. So that is everything. If you have any questions, then let me know down below or over on Instagram and I will do my best to answer them. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.